What's up, fellas? So here's the deal. I know it's a new look. You're not used to seeing me uh, with the ball cap on, but I wanted to do something absolutely different. So I wanted to talk about denim. And what I mean by that is what you probably heard before, the Canadian tuxedo. Well, I'm going to debunk some myths and actually talk about how to style denim in a cool and effective way, especially when you're grown as hell. Today's episode is brought to you by Why Style Matters, the mindset of dressing well and how it impacts your life by yours truly, Asan Ali. The link is in the description. Pre-order now. Well, today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you five ways to style denim. Let's go. What's up, fellas? It's your boy, Asan, the Style Jumper, your guide to personal style. If you're new to the channel, we release videos where we discuss topics like style, confidence, and etiquette. Please subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we release our next video. Size down. Fellas, in this case, size matters. Are we talking about? No. Anyway. <laughs> so fit is king so you want to make sure that your denim doesn't swallow you up you don't want your denim to lose its form you don't want it to look too heavy and feel heavy as well because if it feels heavy then you're not going to be comfortable and we want to make sure that you look and feel comfortable when you're wearing denim size truly matters in this case dark denim and black a lot of people think that you can't wear dark denim and black denim or black jeans at the same time but you can, but remember, we want to make sure that it fits us well. It has a minimalist effect. There's a level of sleekness and yes, it's a contradiction, but you can do it. Again, we have to have it fitting you right. And with that, you can maneuver in this dark denim and black way better than most people would imagine. Same color or tone. Now, this is probably the most when it comes to the Canadian tuxedo where people just wear a ton of denim and layer it together. But what we want to think about is with that, you have a lot of options if you know what to do with it. The thing about the same tone of denim, whether it's with a denim jacket and jeans or a denim trouser and blazer or sport coat is that you want to break it up a little bit. You want to break it up with a solid tone, but there's a lot of versatility. You can wear it with a solid color sweater, turtleneck, a button up, maybe a shirt and tie, or just a button up by itself, but button it all the way up to the top. Cheat code. This is what's going to make this look amazing on you. Then if you want to have a little bit of fun, you can wear it. Maybe it's a great t-shirt, a great brand that has some messaging. You can wear that with the same color tone of denim. You're gonna have people thinking, wow, I didn't even know that you could put those together and make it look good. It's gonna look great, you just gotta be confident. Denim shirt. In my opinion, the denim shirt is such a huge unused item that would blow an outfit away. Because what's happening is usually as you're talking about a juxtaposition between maybe dressing that denim shirt up, which I love to do with a tie, but also it gives that versatility when it comes to maybe you just want to wear a denim shirt and some jeans, sneakers with some, maybe with a pair of Oxfords or some brogues, but it's just going to give you a level of versatility that most people sleep on. One thing you want to think about when wearing a denim shirt though, is you have to mind the size of the collar. Cause what happens is if that collar is too small, then it's not going to necessarily look that great with a tie. So cheat code, just button it up at the top. Make sure that that collar is pressed down because you don't want to have it curling up because that's not going to look great. Um, but it's a great option for you. The denim shirt gives you that ultimate Americana look, especially when you're thinking about dressing it up. So think about your Ralph Lauren ads and things of that nature. Brands like that, that utilize the denim shirt as a versatile tool to elevate your look, but also throw a curveball because most people would not put a denim shirt with, let's say, a suit and tie. Mixing and matching. I love mixing and matching denim, and one of the things you can't see is, at least from the camera, is that I have on three different types of denim or three different shades of denim. My hat is a darker color than my acid wash shirt, and then I have on a light wash pair of denim jeans. You can mix and match denim in a way 
but remember fit is king so if you're wearing a bunch of different shades of denim and your fit is off it's not gonna look good because you're just gonna look really crazy and heavy and not well put together maybe even look a little sloppy so you want to make sure that your fit is critical what I would recommend is throwing in a solid in there and actually layering it so if you do that for instance this case I have on a sweater today throws on that solid piece breaks it up a bit and your focus then goes away from all the different shades of your denim but it goes to okay I'm actually focusing on that white sweater or that cream sweater that you're having on and then wow I like I like the denim with that look that's what you want to do another thing you could do is give it a rugged feel by giving it a rugged look it kind of gives you an excuse to be a little creative and people are thinking well it's a rugged feel so it doesn't have to match perfectly which is great you can rock like your flannel shirt maybe a henley and then definitely different types of boots that's going to make that multiple color of denim really really look great and you can mix and match but again people will then be focused on the ruggedness of your look rather than the multiple shades of denim today's cheat code when you're wearing denim the most important thing in my opinion is the accessorize and how can you do that whether it's with a leather backpack or your hat or your backpack matching your shoes you want to make sure that your denim is not necessarily a conversation piece it's your accessories that tie everything together if you want to see what i'm wearing on a day-to-day -day basis check out my instagram there you'll find a ton of looks that maybe you can choose from or at least get some inspiration i hope you enjoyed today's video and if you have any questions or suggestions leave it in the comments below and if you like this content fellas share it with your stylish friends and remember when you leave home today walk out with style confidence and etiquette and fellas Denim is such an amazing option for you. You just gotta know how to use it well and maximize what you have, throwing a little bit of accessories in there as well. We'll see you in the next one.